Okay, so in this video, we're going to be covering the acid lab again, but this time we're going to be testing the proximity mines which the vehicle can be equipped with. In total, there are five different mines you can choose from, which include Kinetic, Spike, EMP, Slick and Sticky. So let's get straight into it. To access these mines, simply go to Acid Lab Upgrades and then you'll see Proximity Mines. So the first one we're going to cover is Kinetic, and the way I'm going to test it is have my friend drive the Acid Lab, drop the mines on the ground, and then I drive over them to demonstrate the effect. So here we go, let's see what this Kinetic Mine does. So as you can see, this mine creates a shockwave launching your vehicle a few feet into the air. And while it doesn't send you flying, it will certainly slow you down and possibly cause you to lose control. Now, let's test these mines with a bigger and heavier vehicle. So, despite this vehicle being much heavier, the kinetic mines can still launch it off the ground and sometimes cause it to spin out. So, it seems these mines can affect vehicles of all sizes, even armoured vehicles like the Night Shark. And finally, let's see if these mines have any effect on players. So there you can see that besides taking off a bit of health, they literally do nothing, which is strange considering they can launch a vehicle weighing a few tons into the air, but not a person. But anyways, that's the kinetic mines, and now we're going to test the spike mines. Okay, so we've equipped the spike mines to the truck, now let's see what they do. So, as you saw there, these mines burst your tyres, but not all of them, because here you can see three of my tyres are still intact. So it seems as though these mines are only capable of destroying the tyres that they hit, as opposed to all four of them. So now we're going to put bulletproof tyres on the car and see if that makes a difference. So, as you can see, with bulletproof tyres, these mines are rendered pretty much useless, and considering most players have bulletproof tyres, I can't see these mines ever coming in handy. And if you're wondering what they do to you on foot, let's see. Yeah, basically nothing. Anyways, moving on to the EMP mines, so let's see what these ones do. Now these ones are definitely more effective than the spike mines. What they do is disable your car for about 3 seconds, shutting off the engine and also the steering. And if you hit one after the other, it can bring you to a complete halt, especially if you're not going very fast. And as expected, once again, these don't really have any effect on players. So moving on to these slick mines, let's see what these have to offer. Now what these do is create a slippery surface causing you to lose grip. In straight lines they're not as effective but when it comes to steering it will make things very difficult, probably causing you to spin out or crash. And again let's see if they affect players on foot. So that's interesting, as you saw there my character is making these really jerky head movements for some reason which is kind of weird. I don't really see why walking on a slippery surface would cause your head to move in that fashion. But anyways, let's move on to the final one which is going to be sticky mines. So what do these ones do? Let's find out. So in case that wasn't obvious, these mines basically cause you to slow down very briefly, which in itself is quite ineffective. So to put it simply, they're kind of useless. In terms of walking over them, they cause your character to do that weird head movement again, and that's basically it. So anyways, that pretty much wraps everything up. We've covered all the mines in detail, and if you found this video helpful, then feel free to drop a like. And if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.